Is online payment security a concern for your e-commerce site? Online security is often on the minds of most online consumers and businesses, but there are many systems in place working to protect both businesses and consumers. In your efforts to keep your business's transactions secure, there are a few key terms you should know. Today's video will go over six of the key terms and phrases that will help you to better understand payment security and provide safer transactions for your customers. I'm Sissy from Jotform, and let's get started. Every year, security breaches continue to make the internet seem like a scary place for businesses. Consumers are well aware of the risks, so if your e-commerce site cannot provide a high level of online payment security, they are sure to look elsewhere. The good news is that there are existing security strategies that are easy to implement and that are frequently updated. To help you throughout the process, here are some key terms you need to understand to keep your transactions secure and demonstrate to your customers that your site is safe. But before we dive into those terms, here's a quick tip. To safely accept online payments and protect your customers' data, try JotForms Advanced Form Security, PCI, and GDPR compliance, and trusted payment gateway integrations. Now, the first term you should understand is payment gateway. A payment gateway is a software application that encrypts financial data and authorizes transactions by communicating with payment processors to allow funds to transfer between buyer and seller. If you don't plan to run payment data through your own servers, which requires a significant investment, you will need a payment gateway that's built into your hosting platform or connected through a third-party plugin. Payment gateway providers handle financial identifiers on behalf of customers to protect site owners from the risk of storing customer data on their own servers. Established gateways like PayPal and Authorize.net have already made the investment in heavy security and therefore can charge site operators for their essential services. The next terms you should know are SSL and TLS. Two major protocols that take place when websites encrypt payment data are Secure Sockets Layer, or SSL, and Transport Layer Security, or TLS. Though TLS is the newer protocol with stronger encryption, many industry leaders use the terms interchangeably, especially since SSL is better known among web users. For most website owners, there's no need to worry about the difference but it is important to obtain either an SSL or TLS certificate from a trusted hosting service. This certificate is what proves that customer data is encrypted as it travels from the user's computer to your e-commerce site during a transaction. Having an SSL or TLS certificate is crucial in today's online e-commerce, as most browsers indicate its presence through a closed padlock, indicating to customers the transaction is safe. If not, the browser may alert the customer, which could pose serious issues for your website. The third term we're covering today is PCI compliance. The Payment Card Industry Security Standards Council, or PCI SSC, is an international group dedicated to keeping payment data secure and is responsible for publishing and updating the PCI Data Security Standard, or PCI DSS. The PCI DSS applies to anything that stores, processes, or transmits cardholder data and other sensitive data. PCI compliance requirements vary from business to business, varying from a few minor requirements to full validation for gateway providers. Major brands like Visa and MasterCard manage independent programs that determine validation levels and compliance, meaning the notion of compliance can become quite complex. Many e-commerce merchants utilizing payment gateways can usually gauge their PCI compliance with a self-assessment questionnaire offered by that payment gateway. However, this document only includes the PCI DSS requirements applicable to sellers who outsource payment processing to payment gateways. That said, be sure to ask any third-party vendors that manage financial transactions whether they carry validation for all PCI DSS requirements, and of course, if they don't, we suggest you keep looking. Another term we think you should know is tokenization. 
What you may not know is that encryption isn't the only way to hide financial identifiers as they move from customers to sites and to payment processors. Tokenization is another powerful solution as it replaces a credit card number with a unique code or token that is transmitted in the place of the data itself. In fact, tokenization may be the way to go when it comes to ensuring transaction security. This way, businesses themselves never actually see their customers' full payment information. All that would be known is whether or not the payment gateway did or did not approve a payment and why, meaning that the immediate security is shifted towards the payment gateway that already emphasizes security. Next, let's look at multi-factor authentication. To provide access to protected information, a system needs to verify the user's identity. The easiest way to do so is to prompt the user for their password, but the password alone can't guarantee security. To ensure security, you can ask for an additional factor, which is typically a code sent to the user's phone or email, verifying that the user possesses an item associated with their identity. This simple yet effective multi-factor authentication method can drastically improve security. As with other efforts to ensure online security, multi-factor authentication doesn't only make e-commerce safer, but it also increases the likelihood that customers will choose to buy your product in the first place. Finally, let's talk about how to communicate payment security to buyers. Online payment security strategies serve two key objectives, protecting customer data and helping visitors to feel secure about making a purchase. To achieve both, site operators need to advertise the investments they have made in data protection. As an example, if your site uses advanced fraud detection plugins, you should list them on your shopping cart page. And since your payment gateway should be PCI compliant, let your customers know that it is. By showing customers that payments on your site are protected by a familiar name, your chances of making sales will increase dramatically. With all of the great information we've learned today, let's take a moment to review everything before I sign off. When considering the security strategies your e-commerce website uses, there are a few key terms and concepts you should know and understand, such as payment gateways, SSLs and TLSs, PCI compliance, tokenization, multi-factor authentication, and how to communicate your payment security measures to buyers. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Sissy from Jotform. See you next time. <laughs>